Good day, everyone, and welcome to Pepsing. And now your server might be ugly, which could be causing people to find your server uninteresting and decide to leave it before they even start to use your server. So today I'm going to show you how to make an aesthetic Discord server and exactly how to make your server look better. Having an aesthetic Discord server won't guarantee people will stay, but it will definitely help. And I think personally, it has helped my server retain a lot more members just by having a better looking server. So please subscribe if you want to see future content of my if you don't subscribe, you may never see another one of my videos ever again. Please also check out my Discord right here, link below in the description. Let me know that you made it from this video and let's begin the video. So there are four main sections of a Discord server that you need to fix if you want to have an aesthetic Discord server. The first one is the logo slash banner. The second one is the channel list on the left here that everyone sees when they join a server. And then we have the member list on the right. And then lastly, whatever is inside the channel that goes for the messages, the message banners, the topic at the top here and the emoji next to it, all sorts of things. And I'll also add a bonus tip at the very end on how to make an even more aesthetic Discord server. If you want to see that, just stick around to the end. Now the first thing to think about when making an aesthetic server is thinking about what theme you want your server to look like. A theme is not crucial, but it does help create what you want your style to specifically look like and helps you have a goal on what art you should make your art look like when you put it in your server. So let's begin with the logo. A good logo should draw the attention of a user and remind them to check out your server when they see it on the server list on the left, which means you wanna make something that is quite eye-catching and stands out from other servers and the gray Discord background itself. Having an eye-catching server is especially useful for when you're advertising your server on different servers. Having a boosted server is also especially useful as you can make an animated GIF logo to your server which just doubles the amount it stands out. Personally I use a free software GIMP to make all my logos and banners and pretty much any artwork I use for my channel so it's completely free and if you want to use GIMP I'll probably link it down below. It's pretty easy to download and use. The second part to this is your server banner. Banners are only available to your server once you have been boosted to a certain level. Having a good looking banner just shows that you put more effort into your server. It's well kept and updated and will make people want to stay for even longer if they know that there's effort being put into the server. Next up, we have the channel list and channel categories. This is what's on the left right here and one of the main things people see when they first join your server. This is probably the biggest part of a server and can be a huge flaw in your server if you don't do it correctly. So let's fix that. So this is what it looks like when a member first joins and they are unverified. As you can see, there is a color coded emojis on the left here. And once they verify themselves, they can see the full list of color coded channels on the left here. I know my server actually has quite a few channels, but if you can cut down as many channels as you can and merge them together by either deleting, putting them with another channel, then that is better. It just makes things look a lot cleaner, a lot more simple, and people can navigate the server much easier. So try to get rid of as many channels as you can. Now to make it aesthetic, there are a few things you can do. The first one to consider is sectioning off your channels with specific category names. For my server, I've made little brackets at the very top of each channel to really make sure people can see the defined difference in category. If you open the character map, you will see a range of cool symbols you can use to any category or channel name you want to. If you just scroll through, you have hundreds and hundreds of different symbols and characters you can use in any name of the server you want to use. I'm not sure if this works on Mac, but if it doesn't, I'll show in a few seconds some websites you can go to to get pretty much the same characters that are shown right here. All you need to do is click on a character and then press select. And then from here, you can just copy it and then go to whatever channel you want to change and then simply paste it, save changes. And then all of a sudden you have the character as part of the name. Look at different servers if you want for ideas. So if you couldn't find what you wanted or couldn't open the character map app, then you can just go to copypastecharacter.com and they have a whole bunch of different characters you can use to make an interesting looking server name. For example, we'll copy and paste this character, copy and paste it in, and there you go, it's right there. Also, you could go to nickfinder.com and they also have a whole bunch of symbols, emojis, everything you could ever want to name your channels. You can just simply click, copy it, go back to your channel once again, paste it in, and there you go, you got a whole symbol that you don't even have to create yourself. Also, obviously, you can add emojis to your category and channel names. If you're on PC and want to be able to add emojis to your server, I can recommend the website getemoji.com and simply enough, 
off, you can just copy and paste the emoji into your server. One big warning is to make sure all the emojis look the way you want them to look or the color you want them to look on all different devices. As the color and the style of the emoji can completely change on different devices, emojis can really help add some life and color to your channel. I know a lot of servers that actually don't use any emojis and they can look very clean and simple, which is like I said, if you stick to a certain theme, if you go for example a minimalist theme, then you don't even need emojis. You can just have symbols or nothing and it can still look quite clean and simple. Some ideas of ordering the emojis, you know, you can have it reflect what the channel is about or you can have it color coded like I did with my server. I really like how it looks. It makes things much easier to navigate if you know what color they look like. Now some of you may not like the look of my server, but if you look at the older version of my server, it used to look like this, which was, you know, some people may like the look of this, but firstly you can see that there's just a whole bunch of random emojis and it's really hard to organize and understand where you are in the server. There's no bars at the category name, so you can't clearly see when the category breaks off or easily read the name of the category as it kind of just blends into the side. Uh, I've got a whole bunch of channels, probably more than what I have now. And another thing you should notice about this is the organization of the channel's name and its length. As you can see, a lot of the channels you can't even read as they're so long they just kind of get cut off on the side here. So a really important thing to remember is to prevent your channel names from being too long. Another thing that completely changed the look of the categories and channels and personally I think made it look better was from having the emoji straight to the name to adding the emoji and a little bar to break it up from the name. Some of you may not like this. Currently that is what I'm doing to my server right now. I have a little break. It just makes it a lot easier to read the emoji and the name separately. Next up, we have the roles on the right. Much like the channels, we have two sections. You have the role name at the top here and you have the role color. That's just one method of making your server look different. And quite simply, you can just choose the color right here. Another thing you can do is obviously name your role. You can add emojis to the role. You can add symbols. You can break them up. I like to break up my roles by adding the levels so people can clearly see on the server what level each role is. This is just another aesthetic design of my server. And if you'd really like to, you can actually break up roles by adding a sort of bar as a role. And what this can do is if you look at someone's profile on the server, you can see this bar here, which clearly defines the lower level roles. And then above the bar is the administrator and moderation roles. This is actually a cool idea I found in a different random server, which is why you should check out random servers for ideas. And now we move on to the channel interior. The first thing you can do is create highlighted background for the text. If you ping a specific role, when they look at the message, they will see the message with this highlighted background. Another aesthetic tip is adding a sort of channel banner to the top of your server so people see it and they can clearly see what the channel is about. It really makes it look better and it's very simple to create, you know, as long as you follow your own style or theme. Again, you can use the software GIMP to create a sort of banner for your channel and it just looks really good when you add something that fits your server well. You can also use color text in certain text formats to make your messages look much more interesting for people to read. For this message here, this is actually not the bot making this text. I designed all this text here and as you can see we have things like animated emojis, static emojis, preventing the URL from creating a preview and finally we have this bar here which you can do by adding these forward arrows which makes this very neat looking bar for your message. If you want to know any way of making colored text or text formats, I have a complete guide here if you're wondering how to do that. So you can watch this tutorial after this video and make a very neat or interesting looking message. Another thing you can add that only only PC and Mac users is an animated emoji at the channel topic at the top here. When someone joins my server, their eyes are drawn to the animated emoji at the top here and then they can read the channel topic and what the channel is all about. Unfortunately on mobile, they won't actually even be able to see this. So what you would probably want to do is add a static emoji if you want people to see an emoji at the top. If you want to add more detail or even a certain aesthetic, you can create a pin message for the channel and it's just another thing for people to see. Adds a bit more color and variety and place to click for people and can also be very useful. And now the final bonus tip, which is something you can actually see right here, and that is a server template. If you can't be bothered making a Discord server or you already found one that you enjoyed, maybe
maybe your friend has one. What you can actually do is share a server template. So if your friend has a server and you would like to copy its sort of design and things like that, what you can do is ask the owner for a server template and they can share it to you. And then once you click on it, you'll end up with almost an exact copy of their server. It won't come with the bots or certain roles or anything like that, but the general look of it will be exactly the same. And that is all for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Check out this video right here. All the videos I have mentioned, I think you'll find them very interesting and helpful. Please do not join my Discord server. I've had enough people. Don't join the Discord server. Anyway, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.